Hello everyone, Bob is in the house and today we're gonna listen to a new album by Jay-Z444 and uh, I'm pretty excited about this project, it's been like four years since Jay-Z dropped an album and uh, Jay-Z is pretty much, you know, like an icon uh, icon uh, in uh, hip-hop, in rap, you know, uh, he's, it's, he's pretty much a legend uh, by now. I'm not expecting from him something like really fresh or something like completely new, innovative that will change the game of rap uh, as it was like 15 years ago, but I'm just curious what, uh, what Jay-Z will do this time and uh, it's always just uh, nice, it's always good to listen to something new from him. So let's just go ahead and uh, listen to it. I, I have no idea what it's gonna be about. Uh, only only other thing I know that I think it's gonna be a little bit about Beyonce it's gonna be like uh, kinda an answer you know a reply to Beyonce's Lemonade album so with that in mind let's just go ahead and check it Jay-Z 444 first reaction let's go Kill Jay-Z Track one, kill Jay Z. <laughs> I mean, you shot your own brother. How could we know if we can trust Jay Z? Huh. And you know better. Yeah, actually, I know you do, brother. Jay Z, cry, Jay Z. Huh. We know the pain is real, but you can't heal what you've never revealed. Imagine how a knife hurts. You step on over some wreckage. I like the progression of the song. It changed quite a bit from the beginning. Huh. Pretty good opener, pretty intriguing, pretty interesting opener. Jay Z comes very personal on this one, and I'm quite intrigued. Let's let's go ahead and listen to track two, which is the story of A G. Let's go. Ah, oh, the piano. I like how chill it is, how awesome it is. The beat. Jay Z was always great on this kind of beat. This is dope. Holy shit. Okay. Corners with a butler's beat. I'm gonna play the corners with a hustler's beat. I took. That song was great to me because he was narrating his story kinda. First of all, he implemented Nina Simone's song, I think it was like Four Women, which describes like um, four black women, the uh, struggles they face, you know. And uh, Jay Z on the chorus, he was like, well, I'm not gonna say N word, you know, like uh, the Afro American word, uh, because like it's offensive here and I, I won't say it on the camera and I'm white but on the on the chorus he was like light and dark and fox and real and rich and poor and house and filled and you know like so still and still and <laughs> uh, so like he was like talking about all different kind of ends uh, meaning like man let's say let's replace it man or just people it doesn't matter who you are rich or poor or he was basically talking about like the racial issues and he kind of crosses the opinion that it doesn't matter what's your skin uh what's your ethnicity you know you're all people and it's like as logic did in his album um uh, but at the same time, it's different still because he's more focused on black community and he's more focused on like the story of uh, OJ. The I don't know who it is, but like he's talking about that person, uh, like referring sometimes to him, and uh, it's it was pretty cool. It was pretty good. Listen, track three, Smile, featuring Gloria Carter. Good morning. Oh, oh, oh. I like how Jay-Z 
implementing like all the great samples from old songs he takes good things Oh my god. <laughs> this is dope. Yeah, this, is, this is incredible. I like it a lot. Just like, uh, it's good to hear from Jay Z. Like, it's been a while, a really, really long time. It kind of gives you like nostalgic, nostalgia a little bit that of like for uh, Jay Z's uh, good old times where Jay Z was very uh, popular and like great artist, you know, like he still is, but we don't hear from him. Uh, that often now and it's just like good to hear that you know oh this is typical Jay-Z's beats you know like this is on what he usually raps on and it's always feels good and uh, this is a just feel good song you know um, I enjoyed it a lot now track four uh, what's the name caught their eyes featuring Frank Ocean <laughs> let's go Ready for it. I am an ordinary person. I hear Frank Ocean, I did. They only see green from the purple eyes. They eyes high, they eyes high. Track 5, 444. Isn't Beyonce? But no, no, I don't think that it's Beyonce. Hold on. Was he talking about Bay? <laughs> Beyonce? Is it that song? Is it this song where he like talks about Beyonce? Uh, he said, "Look, I apologize." Often women nice. I heard also like the uh, references to uh, twins, and also I heard I don't deserve you. Mm, let's go. Let's keep it going. Birthday, you mature faster than me. I wasn't ready, so oh. I apologize. I seen the innocence. Leave your eyes. I still mourn this death. Hey. I apologize. This is getting a little cold. To all the women whom I toyed with your emotions Cause I was emotionless And I apologize Cause at your best You were love And that your body once housed And you stare blankly in the space Space and shit So I apologize mm -hmm. Yes Yes Oh man Hold on <laughs> Let's go back to lyrics, hold on. That was your 21st birthday, you mature faster than me. I wasn't ready, so I apologize. I've seen the innocence leave your eyes. I still mourn this death. I apologize for all the stillburns. I apologize to all the women whom I toyed with you. Emotions, because I was emotionless, I apologize, because at your best, you are love. This this line has been like yes this is what I'm talking about like toy with your emotions because I was emotionless well I can't really relate myself to that like I I'm a pretty sentimental dude I was I'm pretty emotional but toyed with your emotions like when he was like to, uh, kind of playing with other women just to make like that girl jealous you know like the, in this case is Beyonce but like yeah I can relate to that yeah it's happened before like when you just like trying to see you know like 
how she reacts you know, if she cares enough for you like he was toying toying like like trying to like flirt with another uh, females uh, to see your lover's reaction and sometimes usually it's not healthy at all and of course nobody like you should stay with your significant other you should be loyal you know be grateful that she is your lover uh, that she loves you in the first place because this is an amazing experience uh, we call love and nobody of course wants to be jealous in the relationship it should be uh, healthy but um sometimes sometimes you know like when you are been there for a long time now together and your life with that person starting to become ordinary not that colorful and cheerful as it was at the beginning then you could you can kind of play with this emotions a little bit you can kind of like bring that spice you know like make for example just to flirt with a person a little bit i'm not advising you or something to do that of course not but i'm just saying like i'm kind of justifying jay-z a little bit you could spice it up a little bit bring it back by making her jealous and then oh shit like then you real then the the, the girl realized how much actually she cares and then how much she loves and like uh, n not that uh, she wasn't she didn't know that she that she loves you but I'm just saying like she wants to like cover you know like how like how do you like how uh, you um, dare like uh, playing with that person like oh or like uh, commenting uh, that she's uh, sexy or something like that just leave a comment uh, on somebody's picture is already like a crime like oh shit like you cannot do that you know <laughs> and so like by doing that you can spice it up at night time you know like in the bed <laughs> through sex <laughs> I'm talking these things as I am a gu sex guru or something as I am a knowledgeable person that fuck no I'm only 19 and I'm um, I didn't have uh, enough relationships just so but um, I'm speaking about what I heard of mostly and what I like because this topic is interesting to me love and how to keep a healthy relationship anyway so uh, this was good let's continue actually we didn't we're not done with the song well uh, that track was great uh, in terms of lyrics I, I enjoyed it a lot uh, it was just interesting that how Jay-Z was apologizing to Beyonce and was uh, talking about his uh, thoughts on, you know, how he fucked it up. Track 6, Family Feud. Okay. I told my wife the spiritual shit really worked. Come do a law, I run through a law, let me. Let me alone, Becky. A man who don't take care of his family can't be rich. Huh? I watched out for the Amish that whole shit. Let me alone, Becky. Yes, Becky with that good hair. What my reference? <laughs> the comment that came is the consequence. Y'all think small, I think biggie. Your whole past is in danger to Mississippi. In the mirror taking selfies. How was him or Hill Cop? Track 7 Bam featuring Damien Marley. Sister Nancy's bum bum sample. Sean was on that gospel shit. I was on the tour fucking gospel shit. Stuff a million dollars in the top drum. That's a ball chest in case you need your chest knocked up. I can't take no threats, I got a set of twins. Those were just the words you never hear again. For the final time, you don't believe. Yeah, this album. Yes. 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 Of Sister Nancy's Bomb Bomb and Damon Marley is a reggae artist, yeah. Let me let me uh, explain myself. Uh, what is first of all sis what is Sister Nancy's Bomb Bomb song? If I'm sure most of you have heard it, 
but let's just play it. Yes, and Jay Z sampled it just like Kanye West, but he did it in a much different way. In the BAM song featuring Damian Marley, Jay Z, Sister Nancy was. Sister Nancy sounded like more like an Indian, and I definitely liked that. It was amazing implementation. Thank you, Jay Z. I'm loving every song so far. That's awesome. Track 8 Moonlight. Yeah. Got a little closer, bit with me. Are you kidding me, Jay Z? I already heard it. <laughs> I already heard the sample. What's this? Trey Songs, na na. Oh, na na na. Da 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 ba 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 da ba da ba ba. Oh, na na na. I'm pretty sure it's that song. Let's see. Yeah. Track 9 Marcy me <laughs> Not mercy me, Marcy me Let's go uh, back when ratchet was a ratchet and the vixen was a vixen and you soon will get a six one gave birth to my verbal imagination assume a virtue if you have not on the quick name on Lisa when Lisa Bonet was Beyonce of a day I had diva shop think I just popped up oh, in this bitch like this is my name to <laughs> give you some second track 10 legacy go to nephews cousins and TT Eric the rest of B for what is in school my stake in my nation should go to you Leave a piece for your sip, that's the key My parents ain't have shit, so that oh, shit started with me so My like mom that. took the money, she bought me bombs That was the sweetest thing about Yeah, me. just... You gonna let them see talking about legacy, legacy at the end of the legacy, 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 legacy Alright, final thoughts on Jay-Z's 444 I gotta say, this is a good project This is a very good project, and like nothing too crazy nothing too innovative in terms of like the rap game and stuff i don't think that jay-z is in the rap game anymore he's just a businessman who used to do great music now he's like you know like um like in the legend status just like gives you tracks if he decides to give it <laughs> but this is just typical jay-z project if you enjoy jay-z you will uh, love this project and um, I love the fact that he was sampling some of the great songs of the past and uh, the, especially my highlight would be Sister Nancy's Bomb Bomb but uh, Trey Song's Nana and Nina Simone's uh, Four Women song was like, implemented well as well so it was good uh, other facts to mention uh, if you for example live in New York or like in Chicago or like like in a big city you know like in the urban city where you can feel that urbanism I don't know <laughs> how to call it but um, you would like this album definitely fits to that atmosphere more you know like being in the Brooklyn or like being in uh, Manhattan even like just listening grooving to the songs are much more better like the atmosphere just of the album fits into the New York vibe uh, as other Jay-Z's projects but here in San Diego like you <laughs> uh, for example Kevin Harris fits more you know just like uh, beach vibes and stuff like that when you look at the uh, city you, you drive around the city you just like it's more like a place to uh, relax you know like as tourists go to Hawaii for example people can come here and just relax and like, this is this kind of place and 
hearing Jay Z in here is a little bit different than it would have been in a large city. But still, I can enjoy it for sure, and we just enjoy the Lord this. Uh, and um, yeah, I pretty much nothing else to say about the album, Jay Z. Um, only one negative thing to mention. Uh, I don't want to end on negative note that I think I have to. Is like this album is not available everywhere. Uh, this is only in title. And um, I had to, like, I don't. I never encourage uh, people to do that, and uh, and piracy is not good. But you know, like Jay Z uh, left us no choice. Uh, people who don't have title subscription to pirate the album, and uh, people do that. And so, like uh, I used to, and I and I still do sometimes. I pirate the album or pirate the song and just download it to my to listen to it by myself, but. Uh, I understand, you know, like, I understand that uh, you have to give the credit you have uh, to the artists, you know, you have to pay for the music because they deserve it, you know, like, they have put a lot of amount of work over here and you just enjoy the albums and you enjoy the songs and it's just great to, you know, like, $10 for the album is not that great amount, like, uh, for example, the albums I still enjoy throughout the day, for example, Kanye West, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, you know, like I could go back and listen to it any time, and it's like already for seven years, like that. So you know, ten dollars for seven years is just like it's a ridiculously low amount of money. But of course, when you are listening to a bunch of artists, and it starts to pile up. So Spotify, uh, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not. I mean, I'm advertising Spotify, but I'm not paying. I'm not paid for that. But Spotify, for example, good option, or like Pandora, you know, streaming services to listen to your favorite artist is a good option and uh, in Tidal, Jay-Z made his album exclusively on Tidal because he wants you to purchase Tidal subscription and uh, if you want to go ahead and do that for sure but um, I'm just saying like streaming services are good and you sh if you're not buying the album at least listen on those platforms to the music and um, my negative thing is that Jay-Z didn't put his album out on other platforms like Apple Music or Spotify, uh, you know, like th those are the places I, I listen to music and I had to literally pirate this album to listen to it, uh, download it from, from a free uh, website. Uh, which uh, causes you virus when you go into the links <laughs> to the computer. <laughs> but yeah, um, other than that, the album is damn good and I, I loved it. So definitely uh, go ahead and check it out um, on Tidal if you can. If not, just wait for a little bit. I heard that uh, after a week, uh, for sure it will be available everywhere. So. That was my reaction to Jay Z's 444 album. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to this channel, and uh, share with other people if you like this my content. If you like this video, um, I would really appreciate that. Let's uh, make this channel growing. Uh, let's let's keep it up. And would love to thank you that you are watching my content. You know, like those uh, 400. Uh, I don't remember how much, how exactly the amount. 470, 470 right now, or 460, <laughs> or, or 480, 480, <laughs> anyway, I would just really love to thank you all, uh, you 480 subscribers, um, for being here, for sticking with me, and I love the fact that, you know, sometimes there are like, the same person comments on different of my uh, videos, you know, like, that means that he's still watching, he's uh, he's still with me and like loyal subscriber, you know, like and that's awesome and I, I love the fact that someone is sticking with me. So uh, Thank you again um, We'll keep it going and I'll finish with that Пока! Хайр! Ау фидерзейн! Аривидерчи! Адиос! Чао! Чао! Амивуар! Хорофис! И гудвай! I can't wait till I get you on the floor, good looking. Hey, going hot so hot, just like an oven.